what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just want to share my quick thoughts on john carpenter's thoughts regarding halloween kills he has called this movie i believe in the past the quintessential slasher and he's come out recently the past couple of days saying something kind of similar uh not necessarily the same wording exactly but he's calling it brilliant he says it's the ultimate slasher and he concludes by saying there's nothing more than this one just wow so this was during a recent interview where he was sitting down with entertainment weekly i believe and he couldn't really say too much about it but he shared those little thoughts on what his opinion on the film was and honestly john carpenter he's he's never been one to kind of shine or frown upon been like nervous to frown upon uh the other sequels so like when he's giving his stamp of approval opposed to like i guess a stephen king who tends to stamp an approval onto almost every one of his adaptations outside of the shining i guess um i kind of take john carpenter's word a little bit more serious because we know he was not a big fan of where the series went prior to what david gordon green and danny mcbride were able to do with the 2018 film and you know his original film that that's a sequel to so with him calling halloween kills brilliant and the ultimate slasher it does have me kind of a little bit more interested in seeing how exactly this film turns out now what i did just also want to point out is unlike what most people might take from this i'm not gonna then have like the most unrealistic expectations for this movie so like i'm not gonna set my expectations so high that i get a good film but then i'm gonna crap on it because i was not expecting it to be you know just uh, like that's all like that's that's all and they're calling it brilliant like i'm not letting these words inflate my mind to think i'm about to get some type of avengers in-game type of film or something like i don't know uh like just some all around five out of five star movie like i'm not expecting that from a halloween film i don't even give that to the original the original i give that like a solid eight and then the sequel i give that a seven halloween four gets like a six for me halloween five is instantly just a four and a half i don't even need to go into details halloween six is it's uh that's a five and then you know you have h2o i gave that like a six and a half resurrection trash rob zombies first remake decent second remake eh. and then you got halloween 2018 which i gave a a solid seven I was struggling between a six and a half and a seven, honestly, with that movie. But with Halloween Kills and with all these words that keep coming out about it, don't get your mind in a mentality where you're going to get a very good, well-made movie, but you're not going to be able to see that because you're going to be looking for all these other things that you probably shouldn't have even been looking for to begin with from a Halloween movie. So, like, don't let his words get you so hyped for a movie and then when it comes you don't get what you what i guess you would consider appropriate for his word choice uh, keep in mind this is what he deems appropriate based off what he saw and that doesn't mean that the movie isn't good but maybe you won't think that it's something brilliant it could still be very good i just don't want people to harp on these words like i say that a lot there's these good movies that come out that have been hyped up and a lot of people will say oh it wasn't that good because it was overhyped or everything like that or it wasn't good at all it was overhyped when in fact the movie was good it's just you guys some people take words from others and then you can get those in your head and you set these high to the bar balls to the wall expectations for movies and it's just like why why do that just wait and watch just wait and watch and give a fair review uh but i went way off of what i was trying to talk about what i wanted to talk about was mostly just the fact that yeah him saying that this movie is the is the ultimate slasher there's probably a lot of other slasher movies after seeing after i see halloween kills i'm pretty confident that i'll have a lot of other slasher movies that i would want to turn on before looking at halloween kills i'm gonna say that right now i'm gonna say that right now i'm gonna be highly i won't be surprised if there's a good chance i'd rather watch scream over any halloween sequel including halloween kills now if halloween kills is a better made movie than another movie that i might prefer over it i'll admit it and tell you where it falls short well it where its strengths are because that's one of the one of the movies i do plan to do a review for on this channel halloween kills i know i stopped doing a lot of my reviews on this channel i don't i don't do it on this channel that much anymore i only save that for 
specific movies such as Scream 5 and Halloween Kills. I might do it for Godzilla versus Kong. But John Carpenter seems to think that this movie is the ultimate slasher. What that means, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know exactly what else to expect from this movie because they have me so and so excited about it to the point where I just wish we got it last year. I, I, I know I'm not the only one. I wish this movie came out last year. I wish we would have got to see the resolution to uh, that night continuing and just catching up with the people of Haddonfield, catching up with all of these returning characters, learning about how that night in 78 affected them too, not just Laurie Strode. But we're going to get it this year. I'm confident in that. I don't think we'll get any delays. Jason Blum told us that would not occur. One way or another, this movie will be released this year. Can't wait to see it. Let me know what you guys think about John Carpenter's words down in the comments section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.